Welcome to Ponta Delgada on San Miguel Island. It's the capital of the Azores archipelago of Portugal. They say that time is free. Then why is it so precious? Oh, I say. Here we are at our last port, Punta Delgada, Azores. I'm doing a voiceover because the wind was so bad it was hard to understand me. The winds appear consistently 15 to 25 miles an hour or so. Behind me are several cruise ships that are docked, including ours. There is a fairly good chance of rain today as well. We decided not to go on any excursions and instead we're just going to walk in town and check things out here. The people here are supposed to be very friendly. There's Ely, and we're about to go there, and behind her is basically the main area of the town that we're going to look at. The bus from the cruise ship dropped us off here at this Fort de Saubras, which is now a museum. Roasted cashews. The Azores was first populated over 500 years ago, around 1439, by Portuguese, Spanish, Jews, Moors, Italians, and Africans. Wasted money on cures, forgot how to fix myself. They say the time is free. Getting ready for Christmas, here is a Christmas tree that I'm sure is really pretty lit up at night. And here's the main part of downtown. I saw photos of this before our trip. We're going to go into the main, probably the souvenir and shopping area for tourists. The Azores are located approximately 870 miles or 1,400 kilometers west of Lisbon. It maintains a Mediterranean to humid subtropical climate based on the location in the Atlantic Ocean and due to the Gulf Stream, which can cause unpredictable weather in the spring and fall. The mean temperature in the winter is 58 Fahrenheit and 72 Fahrenheit in the summer. The highs usually are 63 Fahrenheit in the winter and 77 Fahrenheit in the summer. And no recording has ever been higher than 86 Fahrenheit or 30 Celsius or below 39 Fahrenheit or 4 Celsius. Precipitation can vary greatly. Some places receive around 41 inches or 105 centimeters per year with the highest average in the island of Pico, which can get up to 200 inches of rain or snow, and which equals 508 centimeters. As usual, the central area contains the church. The Azores is teeming with 
sea life, vegetation, and hundreds of species of birds. We did not go into any excursions, but there were several that included whale watching, dolphin watching, dolphin swimming, and uh, going in, inland to places like this, which is on the main island where Ponte Delgada is. This is a Seti Sedajas Massif. It's a stratovolcanic complex located in the western part of the island of Sao Miguel. It comprises of a central volcano and filled with, uh, has lakes filled with uh, water ranging in depths from 660 feet or 200 meters to 1600 feet or 500 meters. It comprises four lakes and the Portuguese word for lake is Lagoa. These two lakes here, seen here, are in very interesting because they connect and one is colored blue and it is known as Lagoa Azul and the other one is green, which is Lagoa Verde. As far as transportation, there is an international airport on the island of Sao Miguel and smaller airports in all the other islands. There's also a bit of a railway system in Puente Delgada as well as bus system. Ships can also arrive here and many cruise ships stop here. As we sail away, I'd like to point a lot of facts regarding the Azores and Puente Delgada. It is our 15th and final port of call before disembarking in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. The day we visited was November 11, 2022. The Azores is a group of nine volcanically produced islands. It is divided into three separate areas of islands. The eastern group is São Miguel, which is where Puente Delgada is located, Santa Maria, and Formigas, which is the Portuguese name for ants. The central area consists of Terceria, São Jorge, and Graciosa. The western section is the islands of Flores, Fayal, and Pico. Pico has the highest mountain in all of Portugal, which is over 2,000 meters or over 7,000 feet. Snow can often be seen on the top of Pico Mountain. The Azores is an autonomous region of Portugal. Its main industries are services, agriculture, fishery, industry, and tourism. During World War II, it was instrumental in helping the British and the United States as they made an agreement that they could have troops here and they were able to support the ongoing effort and they were able to identify and avoid G German U-boats and also helped with cargo going across uh, to supply the war effort. There is a mall here that seems kind of modern but we weren't able to go to it. And then education wise, they have the University of the Azores. This wraps up all the ports we visited in fall of 2022 on our 28 day cruise. We hope you enjoyed it. Like and subscribe to our channel. Continue watching because we are going to embark on a 25 day cruise on the Holland America New Staten Dam. And we will be visiting many ports in Norway, Copenhagen, Denmark, Iceland, Faroe Islands, Dover, England, Spain and Portugal, and end up in Rome where we will uh, take in some sites there and make videos. Thanks for watching.